So this is Fletcher Cox's new car. You can see like the titanium front end, just a super clean build. All the badass mints are shocks and everything. All adjustable in the front end, gusted. Just super clean build. This thing is so sick. It's got a Liberty, I think, in it. Like an air shifted deal. Car sits crazy low on a 315 radial. Like crazy low on a 315 radial. It's probably my favorite car here at PRI this year. This thing is just so slick. Carbon seat, race pack. I was surprised. I thought that they would have went with an EFI, but it's all mechanical injection, it looks like, still. Carbon hat. So it does have some sort of a, looks like, mechanical fuel injection, but then with the uh, fuel injectors here, three, it's like three per side or something. And then they got injectors down here, too. So it's got an EFI system on it. Maybe that just must be the feed rail for the, the fuel feed rail. So it's got an EFI system on it. I'm not sure what it has then. But this car is just super wicked when you look at all the fab work, all the sensors. I'm guessing that's like a uh, travel sensor. And then all everything. I'm sure it's all carbon. Yeah, carbon front end. All billet block. Just such a clean build. Just such a nice car, really. This thing is just phenomenal. Little collectors on the exhaust. It's really sick. Not sure. It looks like this has got like springs in it, so then it can have some flex. It can be unpinned. Really, something pretty cool. Fill it every freaking thing. And then like even the the blowdown tubes are all molded in to the car, and I'm sure they probably come out the back of the car. I'd like to know what EFI systems on the car. But it's got like a race pack dash. You guys see the the Liberty. Looks like it's all CO2 shifted. I'm guessing the box there on the top might be like a G meter deal. Maybe for traction control or something. I'm not sure. Um, it looks like this stuff's like titanium. It's all titanium pedals and everything. Carbon dash. It's a really nice car. Extremely nice car. Sits so low. Wish I could tell you guys what a EFI system is on it. Looks like they, they even incorporated like little turnovers for the motor right there. And then the car, it's real clean. Everything's all brand new in it. Real sick. Carbon lip. So then the blowdown tubes come off the engine, come under the car, and then they actually exit right there. So it's all built in. Real headlights in the carbon front end, it's really cool. So it'll all light up and everything. I'm not sure if they're like a factory or like just a nice headlight. You see the car sits so low that they even had to raise the wheel wells for the front wheels and everything on it. Can't wait to see this car go. It should, this car should go 360s. Uh, like another really cool feature on the car that you don't really even pick up because it's all black. Just notice is the, like the engine plate, it's all billet, everything. And then they've gusseted where the engine plate sits. All the travel sensors, shock sensors, and everything. I'm curious why they got EGTs in every hole, but then they're pulling the O2 out of the front cylinder on each side. So I don't know if they figure that's like the most average or leanest or what, but there's a whole nother injector. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight injectors per side. So it's like a 16 injector setup almost. That's so crazy. I've been looking at it, all of the parachute mounts and everything are all titanium off the back of the car here. So that's the little carbon diffuser so they can move it up a little bit if they want. But the drag radio cars are pretty crazy with how much rear downforce they want without taking flight. So I'm sure it takes a lot of a lot of work to figure it out. But as you guys can see, see it's all titanium. Everything right here is comes over, grabs onto I'm guessing that's aluminum on the wing carbon well you can see the carbon in this even so that's all carbon just painted i don't know if you guys can see that or not see a little bit of the waves or something in it i can't a little bit so you can tell that this is carbon 
I'm not sure about the sides of the wing though. See that they've actually put bungs in each exhaust, so if they want to move the O2 around and check different cylinders, they can. It's a really good idea. So whenever you're building something, you just put the bungs in it. So then in the future, if you want to check something, it's it's there. It's optional. If you run into issues in a cylinder or whatever, you want to start watching a cylinder, you can just move the bung, move the O2 to a different bung, and you can check it all out. The uh, car's got to have all carbon brakes. <laughs> it's so crazy. A little bitty caliper. I don't know what this car weighs, but it's got to be pretty light. As you can see is how tight the bar is to the window. It is extremely tight to the body. They did such a nice job fitting it, finishing. And then they bring these little tabs over and tie everything together. See all the carbon in the door. It's just a bare shell over there. Super, super thin. Just bare minimum to make weight, what they need to do. Even the brake master cylinder is super little, all milled out and everything to gain every little ounce of weight out of it. The car's just bare minimum of everything, but the nicest of everything. Jeez, this thing is just so crazy. I like how on the car they kept the, the rear part of the hood as part of it. So then when it's all shut, there's not just a big hole to the hood. It looks finished, so that'll be really nice.